Good morning to all. Welcome to the fourth session of the AIT sponsored Adel FDP Basic Applied Financial Economics and Business Analytics for Research, organized by the Department of Commerce, University of Kerala. Today, we have Dr. Biju A.V., Assistant Professor of Commerce at the Department of Commerce School of Business Management and Legal Studies, University of Kerala, as the resource person. Spanning over a decade, he has very teaching experience for the College of Education Department. He is also a trainer of ASAP Government of Kerala and for national stock exchange courses such as NCC MP, NC FM Pro. An active researcher in the areas of finance, especially behavioral finance and stock market. He has published various textbooks which is admitted by affiliated colleges in the University of Kerala and as author papers and journals have high impact factor and has acquired good citations. His specific interests include corporate credit, personal finance, market, microstructure, nudging, bibliometric analysis, text analytics, and social finance. He is acting as the editor of IGI Global Journal, which is listed in the Web of Science and Scopus. Today, his sessions are on extraction of data from Web of Science and bibliometric analysis involved in as well. Welcome to, welcome to the session, eagerly waiting for your session. Was thinking, uh, 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 right, I can uh, unmute your mic and say, I'm all in the voice is clear, perfect. Voice is breaking, breaking, okay, right, okay, relax. I'm audible right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, fine. So we have some connectivity issues. Sorry for the delay. Okay. Snail.
so uh, can you able to see my screen uh, slides etc yes, yes sir, sir it is okay so first of all i, I am going to discuss about uh, bibliometric databases and indices uh, uh, actually we have uh, uh, mainly uh, three databases web of science scopus and google scholar and uh, I think uh, participants, please uh, use your mic and uh, okay. So uh, we have three uh, major databases uh, of uh, bibliometric databases. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible. Okay. 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 So web of science corpus and google scholar and uh, what is indexation uh, index index are the database of scientific journals having good uh, track record of maintaining the ethics and quality in terms of publication so uh, you know uh, if uh, you are public you are publishing a journal that journal would be uh, should be listed in a in the indexes otherwise there is no use and uh, you will not get any academic uh, accreditation uh, when you publish uh, a paper, a pa the pa that paper is not, uh, that journal is not listed in any of the indices. So, Punita Tikka, she is saying no audio. No audio. What happened? Uh, what happened to her audio? I don't know. Please check. Uh, I think uh, myself audible right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible, oh. sir. Okay. So indexing journals considered uh, to be higher quality in comparison to any non-index journal. So that's the main thing, uh, so that these indexes are very important uh, nowadays. If, if a journal is not indexed, that journal is treated as, uh, uh, not treated as a quality one. So uh, various institu institutions, universities, uh, they are preferring indexed journals only. So indexing of journals provides better visibility of the journal with the with a wider users. So being visible eh, and accessible to larger people will cause better quality papers. It's similar like uh, you know you uh, finance people, all finance people, you might have experience with the national stock exchange and Bombay stock exchange. These are two indexes, uh, two stock exchanges, and uh, you know national stock exchange is the quality stock exchange as compared to Bombay stock exchange. So uh, you know national stock exchange. Uh, uh, listed companies are more uh, quality wise better than the uh, companies uh, listed in Bombay Stock Exchange. So there is a listing requirement of national stock exchange is so, so strong. So that uh, a small company cannot afford to list uh, in national stock exchange, but it can be easily to list Bombay Stock Exchange. That's the difference between the scopers and web of science. So web of science is a much quality in this as compared to scopus scopus is like an ocean you know uh, all the journals uh, many of the journals uh, ha has listed in scopus index so i will uh, tell the details in the later part of my slides being visible and accessible to larger people will cost better quality papers so the indexation is very important so nowadays people are taking care of the indexation so importance of uh, bibliometric databases. Bibliometric databases are the main sources of publication metadata and citation metrics. So Web of Science, Google Scholar, and Scopus are the three bibliometric databases generally accepted as the most comprehensive data sources for various purposes. So out of this, Google Scholar is free and you can register Google Scholar and you can add your publications in the Google Scholar. But the Web of Science and the Scopus, you know, it is a paid platform. So your institute or university has to subscribe uh, for getting the databases. So these databases are subscription based. I already explained uh, both Web of Science and Scopus are commercial and subscription based products. It has got worldwide recognition. Use of these databases has to pay high price which makes rarely affordable for an institution to subscribe to both of them. If your institute is not subscribed to this database, you can 
that you download it from the uh, neighbor institutes. Uh, they have subscription of uh, these databases, uh, but you know the subscription is costly. Uh, a, a small institute uh, cannot afford for the subscription of these databases. Uh, uh, I will explain. Web of Science has uh, itself, uh, you know, six or seven indices inside that small small indices. So we can also uh, subscribe. Uh, you know, uh, one uh, out of above sense, we can subscribe. We, we need only science citation index. We can subscribe science citation index. We need only uh, social science. We can subscribe social science. So uh, institutions are often forced to choose between these data sources. So nowadays institutions are very uh, interested to subscribe these databases because these databases are very important uh, for the uh, bibliometric, uh, what I say, uh, literature review part of uh, uh, the scholars, this is very important. So this, this is so helpful for the literature review part. So source of information, bibliographic databases are the main data providers for major global universities ranking process. So you will get data from uh, the web of science or scopus regarding the university ranking in terms of the publications. So you will get uh, data like you know uh, uh, which uh, which institute uh, provides funding to uh, what kind of journals which other uh, getting funding from which institute these details you will get it, get it from the databases it provides details such as uh, the which university has more number of papers in a particular discipline so whether uh, it is oxford cambridge uh, mit which university has more number of papers in a particular discipline. So if you are taking a discipline, you need to identify, you essentially request to identify which university is working more with the discipline. Then we can, uh, we can, uh, we can uh, follow that university and we can follow that others to get more details. Okay, if a serious researcher, if you are a serious researcher, you definitely must follow the serious researchers in terms of the discipline you have chosen. So, which publisher, either Elsevier or Taylor and Francis or Springer, has more papers in particular discipline? So, users of databases, uh, it has daily users such as librarians, students, lecturers, and researchers who can exploit the databases for academic purposes. So uh, there is a new stream which was developed, uh, which, which was developed, uh, I think, for five or six years back, but is now very prominent because of uh, because of the emergence of uh, some softwares like you know, Osphere, PageX, uh, R Studio, Jeffy. These softwares are very helpful for finding out the uh, keyword co-occurrences uh, and uh, co other co other analytics. Etc. These uh, trends, these analytics trends will, will get you, uh, we, you can be able to predict future works also. So that way, this is very, very helpful. So now these data sources provide detailed information of publications, citation data, bibliometric indicators, journals, authors, institutions, along with the analysis tools. So bibliometric analysis papers uh, is the new stream developed from the data bases. So, uh, I would like to say, state that uh, you, you might have experienced now every each and every journal uh, will be interested to publish a bibliometric paper based on the already published papers. Uh, uh, over a period of time, for example, 25 years, from 25 years, I mean, 25 years or 30 years. So, uh, but you should be careful about while you preparing a paper uh, and uh, you are targeting a journal and uh, 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 you are going to prepare a journal on 24 years work on a particular journal. For example, you are taking, uh, you are taking, you are interesting to uh, prepare a paper and submit to a Springer journal. A spring, that journal has, uh, you know, uh, experience, 25 to 30 years experience. So, uh, you should be careful when you, uh, uh, when you uh, prepare a paper based on the 24 years work published in that journal. And if, if you are preparing the paper uh, based on the 24 years work, that paper should be accepted by the that journal. Otherwise, that paper uh, will not be uh, much used because 
your work fully based on the 24 years published papers of that journal. So, uh, while doing so that you should be careful, otherwise we can use some kind of a thematic topic and uh, 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 from uh, uh, with the help of some keywords and uh, we can submit to the journal related with the keywords. Okay, both ways we can uh, we can do and make papers. Okay, uh, so I will answer your questions after my presentation. Please uh, text uh, questions in the chat box. Uh, I will answer it. So provides very vital information. Uh, databases are useful to search for most relevant literature and select journals for publishing or subscribing. Uh, possible to track personal career of particular author, identify collaboration or funding opportunities. So that's very important. If you are interested in a particular discipline, you are expecting or you are choosing or you are uh, interesting for a funding opportunity and you can search it, uh, that paper, you can search it with the help of keywords of that your discipline and find that which of the institutions in the world providing funding to that discipline. So you will get data from the above science as well as corpus. I will show you how to collect these details uh, after this presentation. Then authors affiliations, recent trends of topic, topic evaluation, funding opportunities of topic, etc. So these information you will get, and this would be uh, uh, great uh, helpful for your uh, paper preparation. So these are the uh, softwares uh, for bibliometric analysis, Pager, Ghost Viewer, R Studio, Publish or Perish, the Big Bexel, Jeffy. These are the main softwares which are used for the bibliometric analysis. And also Mendeley, uh, we are using for referencing. Uh, Mendeley is also, we can connect Mendeley with this kind of uh, softwares. Because we can download RIS format file from the web of science as well as corpus and we can insert it to Mendeley. And we will get easily uh, cite uh, these papers. So Web of Science, uh, first of all, I will uh, detail the Web of Science. Web of Science, formerly known as the Web of Knowledge, was the first bibliometric uh, database was founded by uh, Eugene Gatfield in 1960 as the Institute for Scientific Information. So the old name of Web of Science was Institute for Scientific Information during the acquisition by Thomson Reuters company in 1992 received its current name Web of Science and it is abbreviated as WOS. In 2016, Web of Science was acquired by Clarivate Analytics. Now it is owned by Clarivate Analytics. So Web of Science was the only source of bibliometric data for more than 40 years. Until 2004, the Scopus was launched by Elsevier. So 2004 only Scopus was emerged and Scopus was launched by the Elsevier. So, uh, these are the indices in Web of Science, uh, Science Citation Index expanded, Social Science Citation Index, Arts and Humanities Citation Index, Conference Proceeding Citation Index, Book Citation Index, Emerging Sources Citation Index. So, you can subscribe all these indexes, also you can subscribe individually. So, subscription rate will be lower if you subscribe, if a social science discipline person, if a person from commerce and management, uh, that person will be helpful. I mean, uh, social science citation index and our humanity citation index helpful for the commerce and uh, uh, management person. Okay. So, uh, some of the universities, our university purchased uh, the entire web of science uh, index. So, uh, it consists of all these indexes. So, Scopus is similar uh, multidisciplinary and selective database, which was one second, I will charge my system. Okay. So, Scopus is similar multidisciplinary and selective database, which was launched by Elsevier in 2004. Uh, the main difference from Web of Science is that all Scopus content is accessible with a single subscription without possible modulations. So Scopus, you will get Scopus in a sing, sing, single subscription. 
So over the years, Corpus has earned its equal place as the comprehensive bibliographic data source, and it has proven itself to be reliable and in some aspects even better than Web of Science. Some of the people are mostly interested in Scopus. So, you know, I already explained Scopus is like an ocean of papers. So, uh, uh, all, I would say all the quality journals are uh, listed in Scopus, but the Web of Science, you will not find all the journals. So, if you search some, uh, if you search a, search, search a journal, uh, a major, major journals are indexed in Scopus. But the Web of Science, it's like a national stock exchange. All quality uh, journals only listed in Web of Science. So Google Scholar uh, uh, also made its appearance in 2004. Google Scholar offers considerably wider and deeper overall content coverage by disciplines, document type, countries, and languages. Google Scholar is less reliable as the bibliographic data source as compared to the subscription-based database. You know Google Scholar is uh, free, so that there's a problem and manipulations, uh, and we cannot depend on the Google Scholar. If you search with the keyword, you will get journals all from, uh, it is not indexed, so that if you cite uh, papers when you search keywords from the Google Scholar, uh, that paper will not, be will not be accepted by the standard journal. If you are preparing papers, you have to cite, you should cite, Papers that papers from uh, published by the standard journals only. If you cite purpose, uh, uh, papers of law quality journals, that citation will not be uh, will not be approved or accepted by the the journal uh, who are, uh, I mean journal and others who are reviewing papers. So that's very important point. If you cite purpose, if you cite authors that authors publish papers in in a in a very good reputed journals. So limitations of Google Scholar, uh, lack of transparency, stability, precision, and control, and availability of its data export. By simple experiment, it was also shown that Google Scholar can easily be manipulated using falsified data. You can see that Google Scholar all fake uh, manuscripts, uh, all cooked up manuscripts, all uh, indexed in Google Scholar. So you can download it and you can see that, uh, see, uh, that papers, uh, did not have proper quality. So Google Scholar is not accurate as much as compared to the paid platforms such as Scopus and Science. So coverage of research in this uh, indices, the fact that Scopus provides wider ca overall coverage as compared to w uh, WOS, Web of Science, uh, the content indexed in WOS and Scopus was also shown to be highly overlapping. Scopus is like an ocean and Scopus indexing a greater number of unique sources is not covered by WOS. The extent of content overlap between WOS and Scopus was determined to be varying greatly across disciplines. And you should also careful if you are a university subscribing both, this, uh, both uh, platforms is unnecessary. So one of the platform would be good if Scopus or Web of Science. Otherwise, if you su subscribe both platforms, uh, some kind of duplication, the journals indexed in Scopus is also indexed in Web of Science. So uh, if you collect data from both Scopus and Web of Science, it, it will not be useful much because some kind of uh, data, majority data would be duplicated because the same date, same in journal is indexed in Web of Science and Scopus. So duplication is more. So coverage of citation of data, the coverage of citation of data is extremely important for the analysis focused on quality and impact. So you, uh, you see that Web of Science uh, is the old journal, so you will get data from 1980s. If you search uh, economic and political weekly, that's the most prominent journal uh, from India. So you will get uh, data from economic political weekly in the, from 1980s to 2010, you will get data from Web of Science. Okay, so all the papers uh, are, uh, are, are indexed in Web of Science. So you can, you can do an, an analytics based on the EPW papers. So amount of citations that were retrieved by the databases possibly depend on coverage with citations count from year to year is possible. There are journal prestige indicators. A citation from the high quality journal is worth more than citation from the obscure journal. Uh, I already explained. 
a citation from the high quality journal is worth more than citation from the obscure journal. So when you cite, we please keep in mind your citation and your other cited others published papers in good journals. So some of the scholars, I have noticed that they cite uh, others that others uh, published papers in low quality or without index journals, UGC care listed and all. It's not uh, that journals uh, are not indexed in web of science and scopus and uh, the publisher is also uh, not good. Sometimes uh, that will be a problem for when the extension of research happening, if the candidate publish uh, thesis in some other journals after the uh, open defense, that will create problem for him. The databases as indicators made uh, make a distinction between the journal popularity and prestige. It provides details of H index. H index uh, is an index for calculation of productivity of an author. So we will get the H indexes of most prominent authors of your discipline. If you are uh, taking, if you are doing research in nudging, you will get most popular authors and you, you will get H index of these authors. So citation counts, uh, time frame of uh, covered citations in Scopus is shorter than WOS. Scopus was shown to provide higher citation counts than uh, WOS. Uh, uh, of course, uh, Scopus uh, is an ocean, so many journals are listed in Scopus. So several studies have reported lower citation counts in Scopus when compared to WOS. So I'm concluding this part. During the last decade, there was a significant growth of available bibliographic data sources and metrics. Web of Science and Scopus uh, still remain the most comprehensive sources of publication metadata. Therefore, they serve as the main uh, major tools for the for a variety of tasks from journal and literature selection or personal career tracking uh, to larger scale bibliometric analysis and research evaluation practices and all possible levels. However, the, these databases are subscription based and expensive data sources institutions often have to choose between them. Institution have uh, has uh, a demarcation or a criteria, whether they need scholars or web of science. So any questions from these presentations, you can ask me. I'm going to show the how to ex extract data from the web of science next. Is it clear? Yes, sir, clear. Okay. Good morning. Uh, good morning, yeah. sir. This, this yes, is good morning. Good morning. Yeah, very well covered. Uh, thank you for all the inputs. One question yeah. I have, um, as you rightly mentioned that, you know, the citation from which journals you're taking matters a lot when you are writing your own publication. Exactly, exactly. Could you just uh, throw some more light on, you know? Um, See, uh, the best, for you example. Know, you find uh, so many scores around, right? So, you know, you find that uh, their score is best, these scores. Could you, if you could throw some light yeah, on? Yeah, I understand. I understand your question. Yeah. I would say I that. Agree. When you prepare papers, you definitely cite uh, others and their paper, papers published in the standard journals like Sage, Springer, Elsevere, Taylor and Francis. These kind of journals are the standard, uh, these kind of uh, publishers are, are treated as the uh, best publishers in the world. So I will show you. Uh, I will. I will. Uh, I will do analytics with the help of web science, and I can. We, you can see that most uh, most papers are published from Elsevier and Taylor and Francis. Agreed. I I do refer yeah. to them. Uh, yeah. The point that uh, probably uh, I require a little more clarity. If you if you if you cite a uh, if you cite a, cite a cite an author that papers is not listed in any that scopus or web science. That reference itself is a problem. That reference will not be accepted by uh, some of the journals. That's a fact right now. Understand? Agreed. 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 Uh, yeah. so when yes, I'm doing yeah. some work, which is probably, uh, you know, done, not yet done uh, in India. So in such case, uh, when hmm. you do not have enough number of articles to source from uh, domestic uh, spaces, then how do yeah. we go? That's my query. So if your situation prior uh, that you will not find so much studies from the abroad, that situation you 
your literature, you can specifically state that your situation is this, not much studies has been done so that you are citing some literature, which is, uh, which is not been listed in any of the indices, that kind of, uh, importance and manuscript writing means your writing uh, gives that kind of way your writing says that kind of way then they will be uh, understand and they will get an insight that your situation your paper will be accepted based on that if i am saying that things if we uh, do a topic we are doing a topic yeah, like you know uh, some concepts a topic that many papers uh, uh, were published in international journal that time these papers are available. We, we are not citing these papers and we are citing only the domestic papers that will create problem. All right. Okay. okay. Uh, also, uh, for instance, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. If I may ask, my area is in this area of microfinance. Okay. In microfinance, yeah, uh, mic microfinance, uh, you know, uh, a lot we of have work, a lot of international work, but yeah, you know, the reference to Indian context. The quality of work that is being uh, reflected at times you you do not have um, an encouraging publication in that space from the uh, you know quality journals as you mentioned in uh, domestic frame. So in such case, it becomes a kind of a, you know <laughs> challenge uh, to get the uh, papers reviewed by the refereed journals or peer reviewed journals. Yeah, yeah. So in that context, so I think you should be, I would say you should be careful have, about sub submission of that paper manuscript to your journal, because your, your reviewers should understand the fact that this is the situation so that you are citing these references and all. Uh, your journal selection I, should be appropriate. Yeah. Otherwise, you will. I think uh, in the yeah. area of uh, publications, we, we got to go a, a, a long journey because we do not have, uh, uh, you know, the, the so called referee journals coming from India and the quality journals that are coming from okay. India. I think very there is a, very for right. us to work on that. Yeah. So, Indian journals. Uh, rather uh, than be looking for Elsevier, we should have an Elsevier from Indian context so that people can refer and quote to us. Yeah. So, some of the Elsevier journals, I am Bangalore, I think, uh, Elsevier. I am B has. And yeah. I am A. Vaikalpa was there. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Very few are there in the in, yeah, in our... yeah. Very few, very few. Okay, any more questions? Shall I move on with the web of science uh, extraction of data? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so I have one query. Yes, sir. Ask. Uh, I have seen that uh, in past couple of years, uh, there are good number of researchers who are publishing bibliometric analysis of particular journals. So in this regard, I just wish to understand that do we need to seek uh, formal permission from the editor first before writing the before conducting the bibliometric analysis and writing the article, or can we do it uh, without the permission and submit it to the journal for their review? No, sir, uh, the two ways you can do bibliometric analysis. I already explained that one is, uh, you are uh, taking a journal. Uh, 25 or 30 years work published by that journal. You can, uh, from that information, you can provide an insight to the readers. Uh, what is the evolution of topic? Uh, what is the keyword co-occurrence limit? Co -occurrence, what is all the co other uh, uh, connectivity, etc. So. After preparation of that manuscript, you are submitting that paper to that journal only. So it, it won't create problems. And the other way is uh, you are taking the keyword. You are typing the keyword, keywords. Keywords may be uh, your uh, area, from your area. And with the help of these keywords, you are giving insights. So what is the, uh, uh, what are the areas in which uh, now funding is given? What, what are the prominent authors who are uh, uh, giving insights based on these keywords, etc. So permission is not required. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. 
Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, yes, yes. Sir, I have a doubt. Might be in continuation with both Anita, ma'am, and sir. Suppose if you no, know, we are taking the data from you no know, uh, the databases. Like if it is a microfinance sector that we are uh, researching on, they have a n number of you no know, reports like uh, which is coming from their microfin. They have a network of you no know, MFIs registered in India. They have a database and they share regularly. They share updates on the industry. So that you uh, know the reports are really it is full of information. So when we refer to those kind of reports, how does it affect our you no know, citation? Might be. as you said it is not referring to any journal peer reviewed journals but the reports that is being no, issued by these kind of uh, associations uh, so i would say not much problem because you can take that reports that re if the reports are coming from the authentic source you can uh, say uh, adopted from these reports and all no problem okay, okay. but it should be from the authentic sources yes yes Good morning, sir. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, I have a question, sir. My name is Lena. Further to what Ashwadi has asked, like, no, I am doing research in ESG area, and there are many rating agencies like uh, Clarivet Analytics, Sustain Analytics. Then, then we have Bloomberg. So we have reports. Many reports are generated uh, on the ESG you know, practices of Indian companies. So can we refer to? Uh, can we put these as citations? These reports. Which yeah, is coming from exactly. Uh, but you are uh, preparing manuscript based on Indian context, so yes. you should be careful about the submission of manuscript to, and you should have a clear idea uh, before the preparation of manuscript what kind of genres in which we can submit it. So uh, because okay. you are your manuscript is based on the Indian continent, so so these uh, rating agencies they are coming out with reports on wise, Indian context. Uh, Okay, then it would be hello. Good, yeah. The, uh, okay, sir. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sir. Good morning, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, uh, so, uh, just like Google Scholar, a uh, lot of papers are being uploaded in Social Science Research Network. So, can we depend upon Social Science Research Network for our reference purpose? while we do literature survey social science research uh, research i'm not aware about that social science research means uh, the index uh, index social science research by... network ssrn ssrn yes uh, okay so it is not it is an it is like uh, web of science and corpus uh, no sir it's not only a pool no it is only a it's pool, a pool of, of uh, pool of information papers. Uh, pool yeah, of research yeah. papers so uh, you can check that uh, if any manuscript uh, uh, using this kind of database and if they are published if any precedent is there then you can uh, adopt if not much precedent is already available then you should be careful because if you are targeting an international publisher elsewhere sage springer taylor and francis they are uh, bothered about these kind of things uh they are looking on the insights to the readers they are looking on the peculiarity of the information you are giving to the readers they are looking on the impact factor of your paper when they published so if uh, if they do not get an idea because your paper not uh, will not provide not much insights to the international readers uh they are uh, not taking care of your manuscript Okay, thanks. Okay, okay. Sir, adding on to my query, prior to yeah. what I asked, uh, the thing is, if you could just throw some light on what could be, um, you know, the indices that you could refer in Indian context, like you find there are so many indices that come up, right? H index is one of that you told. H index, G index, M index, so many indices. Yeah, yeah. So it's all connected with the H index because it, it's looking on the productivity of an author. Yeah. You do not know which one to refer, and then you find that everyone. I, I will. I will show you. Uh, I will show you a, a, a journal paper where which was prepared based on. uh bibliometric database uh, and it was published uh, uh, european journal of finance 
and i will show you with the help of uh, i will i will i will uh, try to uh, give insights based on that paper okay so yeah, that, that i can yeah, yeah. Uh, once okay. more i have a class so i may need to meet and then i'll rejoin back you want break no i have a class right now so okay. i'll be I have to take an excuse from that. i'll catch up with oh. you Okay, okay. I will, I will share the YouTube videos. We will, we will, uh, we will be, uh, we will have a break on eleven fifteen. Okay, this session. Yeah, I'll join by twelve. Okay, okay, it's it's okay. So I will come back right now. Some technical issues. 